Hello everyone, I am Santosh and welcome to my channel Learning Bits. So in this video, uh, we are going to discuss how we are going to implement the Coin Sutherland algorithm to clip the line or to clip the lines. So now exactly how this algorithm has been developed and how this is going to work in detail have been explained in this video. You can just check out this video and this is the link of the YouTube video where I have been discussed in detail of the coin sutherland line clipping algorithm so i'll be i'll be just putting this uh, link even in description you can just check it out so now in this algorithm at the brief so we need to have a line and if i want to clip out this line i need to have the clip area which is going to be a rectangle or a square and i'm just going to have a line so now depending upon the line where it's going to be i'm going to form the four bits of the point where it is going to lay that is something like top bottom right and the left so this is going to be top bottom right and the left so my first job is so i need to draw the clipping area that is using the x minimum x maximum y minimum and the y maximum so once you are going to have this clipping window i am just going to find where the line points is going to belong to which region out of this nine region to which region the point is going to belong where I'm going to compute the code of each point. So once I'm going to compute the code of the point where if I want to say P3 code, I'm going to compare this with X value of P3. If it is less than the X minimum, I'm going to set for the left. And if the X value of P6 is greater than X maximum, I'm going to set it to be right. So comparatively with or comparing with X minimum, X maximum, Y minimum, Y maximum, I'm going to find what the region code is going to be. And once you're going to the region code, I'm going to put into the if condition using bitwise R. If it is false, then the complete line should be accepted. Hence, if it is going to be false, I'm going to accept the complete line, something like in the case one. And if I'm going to have two region code and if I perform bitwise and and if it is true, I'm going to completely reject the line. If it's not this two case, then I'll go at the case three and where in the case three, I need to clearly, I need to clearly identify or I need to clearly find where the clipping should happen, uh, where the clipping should happen for the particular answer. I'm going to clip the line. And so now whenever I want to clip the line, so now this is the equation which I'm going to use. Fine. So if it is going to clip at the left edge, I'm going to keep X as X minimum and find the Y value depending upon the slope of the line. So similarly, the right edge and the bottom and the top. So this is the order of the clipping what we are going to follow with. And so now with this, so if you want to in detail understand how this algorithm is going to work, so please watch the video which I have been just discussed, right? So now we'll just get back and start coding for this particular program to clip a line. Hence for that, so this is going to be a 2D program and this is the basic APIs which I want to use and to understand how this API is going to work, we can just check out my previous video where I have told you the first OpenGL program. I discussed about the first OpenGL program. You can just go through those videos. Right. So now just to start with where we are going to draw this and my first job here is I need to draw the clipping window. And so now for that, so let me let me uh, define some variables which I'll be using to draw a line or to draw a clipping window and so on. And so I'm going to have GL float and I'm going to have X minimum. So where I'm going to explain it as minus 0.5 and i'm going to have x maximum so which is going to be 0 0.5 and y minimum i'll be keeping at minus 0 0.5 and y maximum so which i'm going to keep at 0 0.5 right so now using this four values so i'm just going to draw the clipping rectangle or the clipping outline hence for that i'm going to say gl begin i'm going to have gl begin and I need to have GL line loop to draw just the outline because I don't want the interior to be filled. 
and so I'm going to have GL end. So in between this, I need to use the four points, whatever I've been defined here to draw the rectangle. And so I'm just going to use GL, GL vertex. I'm going to use GL vertex 2F and I'm going to use X minimum. First, I'm going to use X minimum and I'm going to use Y minimum. When is the first point of the rectangle is going to be and I'm going to copy this because I need the four points to draw the rectangle and so I'll be having x minimum y minimum and the next point is going to be x maximum and y minimum and next point is going to be x maximum and y maximum and next point is going to be x minimum is going to be x minimum and y maximum it's the combination of all these four values so let me save this program and compile this and uh, execute this right and so i've got a clipping area so now whatever the line i'm going to draw if the line is inside this area i'm going to accept it completely and display this if it is outside i'm going to totally reject this or if the clipping is required i'm going to clip out the line Fine. So hence my first job is done. So let me go into my second job where I want to draw a line. So to draw a line, I do require the points again. And so I'm going to have GL float and I will just say X1. So which is going to be something like a minus 0 0.7. And I'm going to have Y1. That's the first point. I'll be having Y1. So let me remove the spaces. And I'm going to have Y1. So with the Y1, I'm going to give it as minus 0 0.3. And I'm going to give the next point as X2. So let me use as 0 0.6. And Y2. And let me give this as 0 0.9. So it can be anything. So these are the few points what are given. So let me draw the line and see how exactly it will be displayed on the display system so gl begin i'm going to have gl begin and this is going to be gl lines and gl end gl end and i need two vertex function and just let me copy out this so copy and paste and the first is line is going to be x1 and y1 and this is x2 and y2 right okay. so let me compile this it's fine and when i execute uh, this is the line which i am going to have so we'll just see how exactly we're going to clip this and how we're going to get the output fine right. so hence i need to clip this line and clip at this line at this point and draw, i need to display only this part of the line and so now for that let, so let me draw this uh, line in a different color and so gl so color gl color 3f and let me put it in black color or red color right and this is going to be drawn color red so now as i told you uh, so now when i'm going to have a line my first job is i need to find what is the region code i need to find the region code of this so which is going to be 0, 0, 0, 1, and the region code of this which is going to be it's going to be top it is 1 so 1 0 0 1 that should be the code of these two points and my first job is i need to find the code and for that and for that let me have a function called as get code get code where i need to pass one point at a time and so i will say x1 and x2 or x1 and y1 and now this function i want this function to return me the code of the first point and c1 and so now for that let me declare some variables as int c1 in c1 and along with this uh, i need some more variables to store the value of uh, left so which is going to be so left equals one this, this is zero zero one in, in binary value then the right value is going to be two which is zero zero one zero and the bottom value 
so which is going to be 4 this is going to be 0 1 0 0 and the top value which is going to be 8 which will stand it as 1 0 0 0 fine so using this so let me now build my user defined function so which should return me a value and int so get get code which takes two parameters as int and this value is going to be of a floating point values and this should be gl float so gl float x value and gl float y value fine so let me give me this extra spaces and now once we are going to have we need to compare whatever the value of x we are going to have if this is less than x minimum if this is less than x minimum then it is towards the left of the window and the code whatever i'm going to have so this code should be replaced since so let me say code let me say code equals so right now i'm going to have code i need to append this value of left with this and so i'm going to have bitwise or operation with the value of left fine hence for this reason i need to declare one more variable called as code so initially which will be zero which is going to be zero assuming the region code is going to be zero zero fine so and if uh, this condition is not true if this is not true and then i'll go to the next if statement where if x is greater than x maximum if x is greater than x maximum then the code should be xord with right value fine so similarly for the value of y hence i will just copy this and paste over here and the value of y if it is less than y minimum then code will be bitwise or operation with bottom and if the value of y is greater than y max then code is going to be going to be bitwise or operation with the value of top hence once all this condition is done i have got the code i just need to return it hence return return code so which will be copied to c1 so this is done i think this is going to work and once this is done i have got the code for c1 so now similarly if i want to get the code for the second point I'll be copying this and I'm going to have this as C2 and get code is going to be X1 is going to be so X2 and Y2. Now I've got the two codes. So once I'm going to have the two codes, my next job is I need to compare this. I need to compare this is going to fall into case one to completely accept or the case two to completely reject or the case three where I need to clip the line. Hence for that, I'm just going to use the condition if if c1 if c1 is bitwise or operation between c2 if it is c1 bitwise or operation with c2 if it is false that is zero fine so if it is false that is zero then the line should be completely accepted hence i am just going to just say break because i i need not clip out line anything I, I am not supposed to clip out the line for any purpose hence so just i'm going to say it as break else else if i'm going to have the code one and operation with c2 and if this value is not equivalent to zero if it is not equivalent to zero even in this case the line should be completely rejected Hence, I'm just going to break this out. Fine. Either I should completely accept or I need to completely reject. So we'll see exactly how we are going to map this. But when I'm going to have the else part, else I'll be in the case three where I need to clip the line. Hence, I'm going to just say clip out the line. So now, until when this should keep on going? Because I'll be having the left and if the left is fine i'll be moving on to right if there's a clipping at the left i need to come back check the region code and clip out the left again check the region code clip out the right check the uh, code and clip out the top bottom ends so this should happen 
four times. It should happen in a cycle four times. Hence, so we will put into while loop. We'll put into while loop and we'll make it infinite loop because once all the four steps or order has been followed, the loop will break either when the line is completely accepted or when the line is completely rejected. Hence, I need not specify when the loop is going to exit. So this is going to work fine for me. Fine. So now this is going to be the code for me. Now I just need to define what the clip function is going to be. Hence for that, I'm going to avoid clip. So now this is where the clip operation should happen. So now I'm going to check out. So which point is laying outside the region? I need to check out for that. And so I'm going to say if C1. If the first point is outside the region, then this condition is going to be true for me. This condition will be true. And so in that case, I will just say C1 or the C which I'm going to work with now is going to be C1. The code which I'm going to work now is going to be C1. If this condition is false, in that case, so if the first point is not in the outer region, the second point must and should be. Hence, so C equals C2. If both the points would have been in the region or in the clipping region itself, then I would have never came at this function. So hence, we are going to have C1. So now, based upon this value of C1, now I am going to check out. So where is this code, whatever the point I have taken, so at what region this is going to clip out or at what region it is staying outside the clipping area. So is it at the left or right, bottom and the top, based upon that I need to start clipping. Hence, I am going to perform AND operation, so C and left. If the, if the region code is with the left region or the left part of the clipping window, then this condition should be true and this will say that the line, the point which I am considering right now, it is staying outside the clipping area towards the left of the window. Hence, so if this is true, if this is true, then the value of x is going to be x minimum and the value of y, I need to find it out now. The value of y, I need to find. So which is going to depend upon the value of y? So which is going to depend upon the value of y1 and x1 and so on. And so I'm going to take y1. So which will be added with the slope value. And so y2 minus y1. And I'm going to multiply this with x minimum, I'm going to have x minimum, so minus x1 and divide this by x2 minus x1, that is I'm going to take the slope into consideration when I want to find the value of y. Now once this is done, this is for the left, so similarly I will copy this with the right also. So if the code is towards right. If the code is to our side, then even this condition should be true. This condition should be true. But uh, either this will be true or this will be true because the point should lay towards the left or it should lay towards the right. And so with this, if this condition is true, then I'm going to have x maximum. And this is going to be, this is going to be y1. Everything will remain same. So this is going to be x maximum. So similarly, I should do it for, I should do it for the bottom and the top. And so I will just copy this. Now C is going to be with the bottom. If this condition is true, then I'm going to have Y equals Y minimum. And I need to find the X with respect to slope. And so I'm going to replace Y with X and X with Y is y2 minus y1 so copy this and put it for the top so now in this case everything remains same so this is going to be y max and this is going to be y max fine so now this is going to clip out so once the clipping is done i need to update the x1 and the y m value hence so i will just check out 
so which code I have been picked out if the code which I have been picked out if C equals C1 if C equals C1 then in that case I am going to update X1 equals X1 equals X and Y1 equals Y else else I need to update the x2 and y2 and so x2 equals x and y2 equals y so now the clipping is also so this is going to be the clipping function which is going to work with so now we'll just see we'll just execute and see how this is going to work fine so we'll just compile this so now i need to declare few variables and this is going to be int c and compile this uh, there is some problem with uh, c equals c2 so what happened for yeah i have not declared c2 over here compile this so i need to declare along with c i need to declare x and y also and so gl float x comma y so everything's fine so when i yes, I'm just going to this as a line now this should be clipped and see if I want to clip I need I need to draw the new line I need to draw the new line so which I have been clipped out with if I want to draw a line after the clipping operation so this entire display or the draw should be redrawn I need to redraw from the first instruction of this draw function and let us do it so we'll just bring in some user interaction here so we are going to apply the clipping operation what are the clipping is going to happen only after pressing a keyboard key or a key from a keyboard so we'll just take the input from the keyboard and based upon when the user presses the keyboard key so that is the time where i need to clip the particular line and so i'm going to use the keyboard callback function as the key and i need to define this function key so where i'm just going to accept any sort of key any key from the keyboard if it is pressed and so I'm going to have unsigned. I'm going to have unsigned character ch, and I'm going to have index and int y. And now, when pre and I press any flag, so when I press any character from the keyboard, I'm just going to make the clip flag to be one, and I'm going to call the glut post read display. So glut post display function where i'm going to call the draw function or display function again to draw from the starting so now this clipping operation should happen until i don't press the key from the keyboard and when the clip flag is going to be one ends so i'm going to say when the clip flag is equal to equal to one only then the clipping should happen hence until i don't press the key the clip flag will not be one and the clipping is not going to happen and now I need to declare a variable for the clip flag and so I'm going to say clip and flag this is going to be initially zero so let me see how this is going to work so compile this and execute uh, I just don't want this line to be drawn I'll just take the previous line itself so I'm going to compile this you know this is the line and when I press some key from the keyboard uh, and just observe this is happening because I'm redrawing and the color I have been used the previous color function itself because I have not given any specific color for this rectangle so we'll do it later but now when I press the key you can see so there is going to be a clipping operation the clipping operation has been done fine so this is how we are going to work with the keyboard input operation so now I just need to draw this rectangle I just need to draw rectangle in a color which i was supposed to draw and so i'm going to use this color so let this uh, clipping triangle be always with the white and so now even if i redraw this this is not going to be fine so let me try out with uh okay we'll just see the output of this program first of all so when i press enter so now this is going to be the clipping I'm going to clip out the complete line Fine, now this is how this program is going to work let me try out with a different input so which is going to a complete rejection this is going to work fine for this 
yeah now when i press enter yeah this is not going to work so for this we'll just do some modification over here so that is now this is the case where the complete rejection happens so now before i break the loop so let me say let me give it as a flag and the flag is zero i'll make the flag as zero it is when the flag is zero so let me say this is complete rejection so before i'm going to break this i'm going to set the flag value so hence i need one more variable one more variable for the flag so let me say this as initially i'm accepting this i'm accepting as flag is one and so this line will be drawn under the control of flag now that is the flag is one because initially i'm setting this as flag as one and so i'm going to cut it out and i'm going to paste it over here fine and and now the flag value when the flag value is zero this will be not displayed when the flag value is one hence the flag value will be always one until the line is not completely rejected i think this logic should work now for us right when i press enter yeah, this is not it working and this is not clipping out because i think yeah so this should should, should be flag equals equals one it's supposed to be flag equals equals one and now when i execute this I press enter and this is working fine fine so this is going to completely reject the line hence the first case is working fine and even the third case is also working fine but once again we'll just check it out whether it's working fine or not this is the case three so case two is working fine and for the case two to clip for parcel line let's see when this is working and now just let me knock out the case one that's where i need to completely accept the line and it's going to be 0 0.4 0 0.3 make this as uh, 0 0.2 and this is 0 0.4 again 0.4 yeah, and should be completely accepted fine and when i press enter yeah, fine it's working fine now this is the coins of the line line clipping algorithm which will work for all the three types of line and this is what i wanted to discuss in this video thank you for watching and if you have liked this video please put it in the comment section and for such further explanation, do subscribe and follow my channel. Thank you.